This video presents a disturbance observer-based linear feedback controller for compliant motion of a humanoid robot. Joint compliance of industrial robots is small because their actuator modules with heavy and strong materials have been used to minimize vibration and tracking error. But humanoid robots are composed of lighter and smaller actuator modules. Joint elasticity brings unexpected vibrations and deflections of joints in the humanoid. Also, unstable contact between the foot and the ground caused by joint elasticity decreases the stability. To address this problem, we present a control method to suppress the vibration and deflection and enhance compliance capability for unknown contact. Also, the proposed method was demonstrated by improved stability during walking as shown in the videos. The proposed method consists of three parts. First, the DOB-based estimator is designed to enhance compliance capability. The disturbance from external force can be estimated by using the motor model. Also, additional sensors such as a force torque sensor is not required for this method. Next. The LQR-based controller for trajectory tracking is implemented to minimize vibration. This controller calculates the control input considering the flexible joint model. Finally, the gravity compensator is designed to reduce the joint deflection induced by gravity. The proposed method was demonstrated by several experiments. In the first experiment, the robot walked on a flat surface in low speed. The performance of default controller was obviously worse than those of the other controllers. Controllers without the default controller show similar performance. This is because slow walking is a quasi-static motion. In the next experiment, the robot walked in high speed. The result of the proposed algorithm shows better walking performance than those of the other controllers. This is because the proposed algorithm ensures the compliance to absorb impact force when the swing foot landed on the ground. Finally, two experiments including stepping on unexpected object and pushing the robot during walking were conducted. Although external force was applied on the landing foot and shoulder, the walking performance is not degraded because the proposed method could estimate and accommodate the external force. Thank you. See you at the interactive session.